Well, hi, Journey Life Church family and Holt community family. If you're watching this, uh, this is a little update on the fire that happened at Building 21. Um, I just got back from there, just arrived, and at my house, um, my phone was dying or else I would have gone Facebook Live from there. Um, but uh, basically, some of you guys saw the flame, you know, up a mile high um and the building that has come down so if you want to hear we're going to give you uh, an update uh, kind of on what's going on so if you want to get people onto this uh we can tell you how to pray give you some god thoughts about this thing um, i believe that god has some really good thoughts about where we go from here um so uh what happened is just give you a few facts um we were we had some guys in there building uh, remodeling the skate park, part of the skate park. <clears throat> and um, they had some foam because there was a, a ramp that they were building. That was a compression ramp, and so it needed foam underneath it. They had some foam there and uh, a lot of foam. And it was a really awesome ramp they were <laughs> building. And they were grinding on some steel to get the last piece of steel. It was literally the last piece of steel for uh, the whole remodel. And uh, he was grinding the last piece uh, with the grinder, and the sparks were coming off. And one of the sparks hit a piece of foam. It lit the rest of the foam on fire. Within a minute, the whole building was black. They were running out trying to grab, grab the fire extinguisher. Didn't do anything. So they had to get out, get out of the building. There were three guys in the building at the time. Um, the guys all got clear of the building. Their trailer that they brought to, to help build the ramps was close enough to the building. The fire was so hot that the back of their trailer was melting and warping. And uh, but they were able to get the trailer away. That was not lost. Uh, and their car away. And uh, Brenda Weber was there, and she was able to get her car away and call 911. The guys called 911. And um, so the fire department, the fire team has been amazing. Uh, they showed up. I got there about seven, six or seven minutes after they got there. And um, the roof was already starting to cave in when I got there. Um, we ended up uh, within about a half an hour, the entire roof was gone. Um, and now so they're starting to tear down the walls, and the, so the walls are coming down. Uh, I imagine probably the front face will still be up tomorrow, possibly. Who knows? They're, they're going to be working on it through the night. Um, Fire Chief uh, is amazing. we just really privileged to work with such a great team of emergency responders. They had emergency medical people there. The police department was there in full force. Um, I'm so thankful. And you can be so thankful. You have an amazing, in Holt and Delhi, Ingham County, you've got an amazing police department, firefighters, um, amazing uh, medical, emergency medical team. So be, be praying for our firefighters. They are still at it, and there is still danger for them. So if, if you're going to pray, pray for our firefighters right now. One thing you can pray for all through this night, they're going to be going after this. Uh, Brian Ball, our fire chief, man, top notch, and I, I can't say enough good things about him and his team and all the team that was there uh, going after it. Um, so Pastor Ben was there with me. Uh, ben Charteau is the executive director of Building 21. Obviously, Building 21 will not be open for business tomorrow. Sorry, uh, Holt Junior High students uh, and Holt High School students and Mason junior high and high school students and anyone else who's planning to come. Um, they, they will not be open for business tomorrow. Um, however, we're going to figure something out. And because uh, <laughs> our vision hasn't changed. I'm on the board for Building 21. Our vision has not changed. Uh, we are still about having a place for students to develop positive habits for a lifetime. So building burns down. It doesn't matter. The building is a total loss, and that's a fact. Uh, building's a total loss. There's not, um, there's not nothing salvageable, uh, you know, in that building. A lot of a lot of people lost 
personal things. A lot of the skate park guys had tools in there. Uh, you know, a lot of our skate park managers, uh, you know, Pastor Ben had tools in there, personal tools. You know, there's tons, tons and tons of stuff in there. Um, so be praying for all those things to work out. Obviously, our first call tomorrow morning is going to be to insurance, and we'll see what happens from there. Uh, but uh, but be praying for all those even personal items that might not be covered by insurance. Um, be be praying for. There's so much blood, sweat, and tears in that in that place. So many people who have poured in, and we, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's poured in and built into that place. Nothing of that is lost. Why? Because the vision for this thing uh, is still going, which is that we want to have a place for students to develop positive habits, a community of students to develop positive habits. That's what building 21 is. It takes 21 days to develop a habit, right? Um, so pray that that vision gets sparked, for lack of a better <laughs> word, into something even greater. Uh, we're, we're sad because there's so much, so many blood, so much blood, sweat, and tears that was poured into that place. We're sad. It's a lot of work. Um, at the same time, the vision hasn't changed, and, and we're still going to be pouring in the students, um, and, and we're just going to do it differently. You know, we're going to rebuild. We're going to do something. We don't know. We don't know where it's going from there. That's that's a fact that I can't tell you. Uh, you know, in the shocking night of, uh, this is a crazy day. And I want to tell you this, if it, it, as a pastor, um, if you have experienced loss, if you've experienced tragedy, if you've experienced a crazy day, something like this one, faith is made for this time also. I'm, I'm sitting on my crazy day declaring to you that your faith is made for this time. Jesus didn't promise you, God didn't promise you this life that was just free and rosy and hunky-dory, but he did promise you that he'd be with you. And that, that faith makes you strong and gives you the kind of passion that can rebuild. All is not lost. We lost a building. We lost a lot of stuff. But the passion is still there. The vision is still there. The people are still there. Now, um, I want to share one scripture with you that I think really points to a time like this that is so important. Uh, Psalm 73, verse 26. A psalm, if, if you're going through anything, there's probably a psalm for that. <laughs> Read through the psalms. It'll speak right directly to your situations. Psalm 73, 26 says, My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart. You know, the stuff that we built, it failed. You know, fire in an instant, stuff's gone. The stuff that we build in terms of our flesh, our body, we can pour all we want to into our health and it's going to fail someday. Okay. My heart and my flesh may fail, but God is strength. So we, in a moment like this, this is what we do. We pull on his strength and say, God, I need your strength right now. And that is my prayer. And, and if, you're, if you're out there and you're wondering how you can pray, pray for the firefighters right now. They're in immediate danger right now uh, and working on this. They're awesome. I'm sure they're doing it in a safe way. But pray for those firefighters and pray for the strengthening of, these, uh, of myself you know, uh, Journey Life Church being the owner of this building, <laughs> now we got to figure out what to do with it. Now we got to, you know, call insurance and all these kinds of things. Pray for the strengthening of the heart uh, of the people who are who are going to be making decisions. Uh, pray that the community rallies around us because we need we need the community. Uh, we need these students who are who are just so excited about Booty 21. We need these skate park managers and these people who are a part of the skate park uh, uh, to to rally around us. We need people who are passionate about students in this community to step up. Uh, pray for the strengthening of this community because I believe this community can become stronger even out of tragedy, even in the middle. Of tragedy and that is a miracle 
That is something that God can bless. God can do. And I'm, I love that, that God's heart is to flourish communities. And so John Hayhoe checked up on me earlier tonight. And I just, uh, you know, <laughs> we want to want to shout out to him. Uh, we appreciate our community leaders. Uh, I appreciate our, our, our student leaders over at Holt uh, and, the, and the, the, the township leaders as well. Uh, we're just so thankful. We're so thankful for the fire department, the police department, for all those who are on the Building 21 board and, and, uh, and staff and teams. We've got a great group of people who are passionate about students, and this community is passionate about students. Uh, so pray that as we come together in this moment, um, that since there was no people lost in this in this tragedy, there was no people lost. <laughs> so what well, we get the opportunity now to rebuild um, and and what is really important, which is the people, which is the community, which is the heart of this thing, and and that's what we're gonna do. We're excited about it, Pastor Benzix. I mean, we're we're in shock. We're sad. <laughs> Gosh. But we're also excited about it. In this moment, God provides strength for us. And so I just want to uh, encourage you with that. Um, so facts of the matter, if, you, if you're joining late, facts of the matter were, were that guys were finishing up the ramp building. They were grinding on a piece of steel. Spark hit the, the foam uh, that was going to be the compression for the ramp. The entire foam, uh, you know, like we're talking like a room full of foam. Like, uh, like this, this room, you know, 10 by 13, full of foam, uh, went up in like a minute. And of course it lit the rest of the building on fire. The guys all got out safe. Um, they got their car away after it had melt the, the back end of it had warped a little bit, their, their trailer. They got that out safe. Um, so all the people are safe. Uh, but the building is a complete loss. The, the roof came down, they're tearing down the walls. Um, fire department's awesome. They're going to be working on it all night. Be praying for the fire department. Um, be praying for us, uh, you know, as owners of that building, Journey Life Church. Um, pray that God strengthens our heart. Um, pray that God gives us wisdom as to what to do next. Uh, pray for Building 21 and the Building 21 board in terms of vision casting. Um, our heart and our vision has not changed, and it will not be shaken. We want to see. Uh, positive habits developed by our students. And we want to have a place for that. And I believe that that is worth it. <laughs> it is so worth it. It's worth rebuilding. And, and, and if you believe that, just, just comment and, and, and tell us that you're praying for us to uh, send some love over here uh, to those firefighters, send some prayers over for those firefighters, uh, send some love over for Pastor Ben and Amanda and, uh, and the Building 21 board and uh, and the team at Journey Life Church uh, that's going to be looking towards um, what's next. And we don't know exactly what's next, um, but the vision hasn't changed. And that, that's what's awesome. And God is the strength of our heart. And I just encourage you, faith is made for these times. So if you're going through something, and everyone goes through something, so tack you know, put this away, <laughs> make a marker in your mind for that time that you're going through something. God is the strength of your heart. Psalm 73, 26. There's so much uh, good things in the book of Psalms about this stuff. God is the strength of your heart. He will strengthen and he will revive passion. Even in the middle of, of circumstances that are horrific, even in the middle of tragedy. And um, can, <laughs> this did not take God by surprise. And guess what? It's not the first fire that's ever happened anywhere, you know? And, and not only that, but this isn't even the worst thing. There are so many worse tragedies that are happening all over the world right now. But what we know is this is very important to the Holt community. Building 21 is very important to the Holt community. And so we are so passionate. Um, about seeing students coming into their passion, coming into their purpose, and, 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 and seeing um, positive habits built in their life. 
So thank you to all you who are jumping on and and, um, and, and commenting and saying you're praying. Uh, Betsy and Jessica and Mandy and Bill, uh, we love you guys. Uh, yeah, thanks for jumping on. Thanks for praying. Um, you guys are awesome. Melissa, Katie, um, Courtney, thanks for praying. Becky, thanks for praying. We need your prayers. Angela, thanks for praying. Uh, Chastity, thanks for praying. Yeah, Sam, thanks for praying. Becca, thanks for praying. Janine, thanks for praying. Um, we are so privileged to have you guys pray. Rebecca, Ann, thanks for praying. Dan, thanks for praying. Sue Ann, thanks for praying. Shannon, thanks for praying. Um, this is this is what we know. The fire was started. It was an accident. It was um, it was within seconds. It was just blazing. There was nothing that could be done. The fire department was amazing. They came out so quick. We called nine one one. They called nine one one. I sorry, I didn't call nine one. I wasn't there. I came about seven minutes after the fire department showed up, and uh, the the roof was already caving in. I mean, like that, like that quick. Um, there's a billow of smoke a mile high at least, and um, and then within half an hour, the whole roof was gone. Walls are coming down. The building's a total loss. Um, but uh, that's uh, that doesn't deter our spirit. <laughs> it doesn't deter the vision. That doesn't even it doesn't affect the vision. Um, and, and and this is a lesson even to you students. Any of Building Twenty One students out there, hear this. Um, loose yourself from the materialism of this culture. Like life is not about stuff. It's not about buildings. It's about people, and we are a community, and we're going to band together, and we're going to see God do good things in this situation, even in tragedy. Life is not about stuff. Loose yourself from the moorings of materialism. It is not worth it. But living with people who have love for each other, who have love for God, who have love for their community, um, that's worth it. That's worth it. And that's what you get to see in this in in this time, and I, I pray that you have people around you um, who are going to model that for you. And we're going to do our best as a Building Twenty One leadership team, as a Journey Life Church leadership team, to model that for you. Uh, life is not about materialism. Life is not about stuff. It's not about a building, but it is about this community, this network of relationships, this web where. Uh, where God can bring love, God can bring joy, God can bring beauty out of ashes. That's what the scripture says, right? Beauty from ashes, the oil of joy from mourning. We're sad, we're mourning. <laughs> you know, I just sat there for an hour, watched Building 21, which we've been pouring into, and of course I haven't poured into even as much as so many others, Pastor Ben the most, of course. Uh, but we've been pouring into that place, and we just watched it burn down. And uh, and we're gonna we're gonna rebuild, not because um, we're anything special, but because this community and the people and the students uh, deserve a vision that's this big. They they deserve to know that God loves flourishing their community, and um, so the building's gone. But our heart for you, our heart for people, um, our heart for students in this community, our vision for this place, uh, it it's unchanged. It's unshaken. Faith is made for these times. So I love you guys. Um, if you know anyone who wants an update on this video, I'm going to go ahead and end the video. But feel free to share it. Um, comment below. Tell us you're praying. We need that support. That support is what this is. What's going to make this all work? That's what's going to make this uh, get better from here. Okay, and that's that's what you got to take it into any tragedy that you're walking through. So, how do you walk through tragedy with somebody? Pray, love, be there. Tell them you're praying, and actually pray, and, and know that this isn't the end. That. Faith is made for these times. Break yourself from the materialism things 
and uh, and love people well. Love you guys. Uh, well, uh, thanks for listening to some thoughts from my heart, and uh, we'll keep you updated if we if we have any more updates.